Hey guys, Buffing Game back today bringing our video, and today we are covering the new M13C assault rifle and converted it into the MCX Rattler? Question mark. Let's take a look and see uh, and why it is not really a Rattler and why this is kind of a really pointless weapon to be added to the game, but it is also cool. So let's go ahead and back out. This is one of the final designs. We're going to use two different builds here that I thought were pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and back out now. First, how do you get this weapon? If we back out here and go to the uh, event page, back out of our privates, <clears throat> what you need to do here is for the event, you got to play the Mild Warfare 3 reveal event and assist in killing five commander choppers to get the M13C. You can see here, you just got to assist in killing five commander choppers and you unlock the M13C or the MCX Rattler. So... Let's go ahead, jump back down to our private match, and take a look at this weapon. Compare it to the M13B. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know I already did a Rattler conversion here for Modern Warfare 2. And we covered a really nice DMZ build of the MCX Rattler. So what's the difference and why are they adding this gun? So first off, let's look at it here. And we're going to build this thing up from base. And hopefully I remember all the attachments I was using. But here is the M13C at base, or what is supposed to be the m 13 or the, excuse me, the MCX Rattler Chambered in 300 Blackout. So let's go ahead and look at this. Now, for the barrel options, big letdown here. We don't have the integral suppressed barrel like we did in Modern Warfare 2019. I was really hoping they would add it with this weapon, but they didn't. I really wanted to make the LVAW or the Low Visibility Assault Weapon or the Black Mamba, as it's also called. That was... That was my baby from Modern Warfare 2019. They did not add it here. They added this base barrel you see. And then you have the other barrels here as well, which we'll get into. So the base barrel here is what we're going to run. Because we don't have an integrally suppressed barrel, we're going to run the Echolus GSX. This is going to be uh, sound suppression, recoil smoothness. The only con is the damage at range. Again, 300 Blackout is a close range stopping power weapon. So we're going to, we don't really are not focused on damage at range with this build. <clears throat> Again, we'll use a base barrel. Laser option here, we're going to go with the VLK. Again, ADS speed, aiming stability, sprint to fire, with the con being. Uh, laser visible to enemies we'll go ahead and do that and then for the optic here we're going to go with a uh, standard let's see here which one did I have just a standard red dot you guys can really pick any one I'm going to go with the Corio uh, REX Pro again just a precision one times red dot we'll go ahead and select that stock option so this stock here this may very well be a uh, base stock you also have the foldable stock. So they actually did it right this time. Instead of just removing the stock, they made a foldable stock. However, um, you can see here, the stock is folded to the right-hand side. And on this version of the weapon, it has a forward assist. The MCX Rattler in real life does not have a forward assist. And the way this is uh, folding to the right-hand side is potentially going to cause issues when the rounds are ejecting. As my cats are having a battle royale right now which you guys can probably hear. So, regardless, the rounds would be probably hitting this buttstock here when it's folded, causing a jam. Probably a stovepipe or something like that would not be good the way this is folding. Typically, I want to say these are folding to the left-hand side because there's really no obstruction here on this side of the weapon. No charging handle because it's a rear charging handle with the AR-15, uh, AR-18 platform, so... It's just a weird, it's a direct impingement system. It's just a weird that they have it full into the right-hand side. That could be how it is in real life. I really don't remember uh, from my time handling the Virtus. But um, with this particular uh, buttstock, it folds to the right, which the stock option we're going to use here is going to be the Bruin Flash stock. This is going to give us sprint to fire, aim walking speed, cross movement speed, and aim down sight speed with the cons being aim stability and recoil. We'll go ahead and select that, but you can see on, on this one here, this one folds to the left-hand side and not the right, which would be correct for this weapon. So I don't I don't think in real life it folds to the right. It just wouldn't make sense um, unless it's fixed over the uh, over the ejection port of the weapon. But um, <clears throat> regardless, that's the buttstock we're going to be going with here. And then the final attachment will skip the rear grips. But again, these are the only two stock. The only new stock you have is the collapse stock, which is folded, and then the base stock. So they're the same stock, just one's one's not folded, the other's folded. You obviously see the pros and cons that you get with that. Uh, rear grip, we're going to leave that. There's no new rear grips here. Magazine options, 4300 blackout. You have a 45 and a 60 round 
magazine for the 300 blackout which is pretty interesting again that's that's actually pretty cool considering we only have the 30 round mag in 2019 ammunition you have all your standard armor piercing frangible hollow point uh and uh over pressured and then for the underbarrel attachment here we are going to run you see with the short barrel option you can't can't run any of the grenade launches or anything we're going to just run the bruin tilt grip so that's going to give us hip fire accuracy hip recoil control and aim walking steadiness with the con being aim walking speed so we'll select that and this <clears throat> excuse me still getting over COVID. this is one of our final builds here for the six hour mcx rattler i'm going to show a few more builds here quick before we get into the actual meat of the, the video but like i said in real life the rattler has a five and a half inch barrel right here it has a forward assist there is no forward assist on the real life weapon um and the barrel does the handguard itself is a little is odd right it should be a little bit shorter of a barrel um i'm, I'm a little disappointed we didn't get the integrally suppressed barrel option as well but uh, the handguard is also weird which uh, to be fair they always do that with these weapons so it's not the a big deal you see the ejection again this is the same ar-15 um type uh lower essentially minus the fact that it's a direct impingement system but again backing out here so that is our one mcx rattler build now our next mcx rattler build using the m13b which is the m13 which was already in the game looks like this so you see the difference there <clears throat> obviously one's chambered in 300 blackout the m13c the m13b is chambered in 556 but you see the difference is very minimal you also notice that the new M13C has a longer barrel than the 7-inch barrel on that came with the M13B. So let's look at this. This is my MCX Rattler that I essentially did for the conversion uh, previously, minus, uh, I think, uh, a few things here. But regardless, same buttstock, different optic is fine, grip, suppressor, and the 7-inch barrel. So the 7-inch barrel, you see the barrel here versus this. So the... M13 factory barrel is actually longer than what is the 7 inch Bruin barrel that came with the M13B. And the handguard on the 7 inch Bruin barrel actually matches the Rattler handguard better. So you'd almost be better off going with the uh, Bruin barrel to make a proper Rattler for this conversion. However, this gives you better recoil control. It's not that far off, but it does have, it's just a weird M lock. Um, just a weird M lock difference there the way they make those and, and the, the length is different also but again this is essentially this is your m13c this is the m6 rattler again minus it's chambered of 556 we still have the charge the uh, forward assist there obviously which is an issue now you can see one difference with these weapons is that the, the uh, charging handle is different here we have more of a raptor type charging handle if we go back to the m13c rattler version here <clears throat> you guys will see the charger handle is different. I don't know what kind of charger handle that is. That is a very unique charger handle. I haven't seen that one before. But you can see the difference there, right? So that's that build. And compared to the M13B Rattler build. Now here is another build you'll see me use in the video halfway through. This is my attempt at making the original uh, M13 build that I used in Modern Warfare 2019's Warzone. Minus, you know, not being the uh, the LVAW version. There was a video, if you guys have been following the channel, where Moo, myself, and Bird Lawyer had like some crazy win over um in the in one of the wooded areas there outside right outside stadium um and this is essentially the the build i was using um except it was a 60 round mega the 556 and no stock option this is exactly the one i was using for that video and it's a beautiful weapon so you guys recognize this build is very similar to what i used to use in modern warfare 2019 just minus uh the integrally suppressed barrel option which we had in that game So you can see, using the M13 at base, the M13C at base, for this build we're using the Knight's Armament Suppressor, the Silent Fire XG6. Going to throw a 10-inch barrel on there, uh, which gives us damage at range, hip fire accuracy, bullet velocity. Going to run the Leopold Hammer, the TRX 56 MCX stock, and then we're going to run the Magpul Vertical Foregrip. So this is a really nice attempt at a, uh, it's essentially an MCX Virtus chambered through in your blackout. It's my attempt kind of at my original LVAW, though. We just needed the integrated suppressed barrel, but this is essentially the same exact build I used in one of those Warzone videos that if you guys have been following the channel long enough, you'll remember the exact video I'm talking about uh, where I end up clutching that thing right outside Stadium in the woods there. I was running this, and my makeshift uh, SR-25 was what I was running. So that's 
that weapon. Let's go ahead now. We'll jump into the gunsmith with this rattler, and then we'll. I'm gonna fire it on suppressed too, just so, I, so you guys can hear the uh, the uh, the blackout rounds. But here is the M13C version of the rattler. The recoil on this is a lot to handle. Noticeable difference between this and the M13B as far as recoil goes, which makes sense because the 300 blackout round is a larger round than 556. However, the recoil uh, in real life would not be this uh, as heavy as it is here in the game. It doesn't look too bad here, but if you're running zoomed optics and different builds, which I've been playing around with, um, it's going to be a lot. Beautiful weapon. Let's go ahead now, and we'll just take the suppressor off this thing. Just so you guys can hear what it's like firing it unsuppressed with a 300 blackout. Now, we don't have the uh, subsonic or supersonic options, but let's hear how it sounds. So it sounds like it's supersonic to me. Subsonic would be very quiet, even without the suppressor. It, again, it's hard. They don't they don't list it, but it does sound it does sound uh, supersonic to me. So full auto. Now, let's go ahead now, and we will go down to this build, with the M13B Rattler build. Let's take off the suppressor, and let's compare this one. So, let's go ahead and jump in. It's not that much of a sound difference. Slightly louder with the, M with the 5.56. However, um, it seems to me it's not, definitely not... Um, it's definitely not subsonic rounds. However, when it's suppressed, obviously it's a little bit quieter, it seems like, at least. But you can see the recoil on this thing with the 300 Black Isle. Again, this is our second build you'll see in the video. It's pretty all over the place. Now, I don't have it tuned, to be fair. But uh, it is definitely all over the place with the recoil. But I love seeing this build. It looks really clean, really nice. Let's go ahead now, and we'll jump into the gameplay here with the MCX Rattler. Now, again, you'll see the two different versions of the MCX Rattler here for the M13C that I just showed off. <clears throat> Running them both suppressed. Now, again, the 300 Blackout round is kind of, think of it as the uh, equivalent almost of a 762 by 39 millimeter. So it's it's very close in di er, dimensions to a Russian 762 round. It's a, it's a big boy round, big brother of the uh, 5.56 by um, 45 millimeters. So, typically, you have subsonic, supersonic. Now, the subsonic rounds, uh, you pack heavier rounds. It's going to it's gonna fire slower. 300 Blackout is a big round. It's going to fire slow based on the amount of powder, sub, or super. And uh, if it's subsonic, it's going to be below the sound barrier. So, it's going to be very quiet. So, you wouldn't even need uh, earpiece with the uh, suppressor off. Supersonic. Different story. It sounds like these are supersonic, which I wish they had an ammo type for sub and super would be really nice. But really great weapon here. It is really good to see. It. I'm really disappointed though that we don't have the um, that we don't have the integrally suppressed barrel here in this game. Would just have made my day if we could have made a, a proper LVAW uh, conversion here in this game. Would just be beautiful. But unfortunately, they didn't give us that barrel. Now, the MCX Rattler is a short barreled variant of the MCX Virtus. This is chambered in 300 AAC blackout and 5.56mm. It is intended to serve as a personal defense weapon or a PDW. So, if it features a 5.5 inch barrel, this is as short as Sig could get this thing. It comes with, um, it has, it has pick rails and, um, <clears throat> pick rails, um, Excuse me there, I was getting a phone call. It has Picatinny rails, um, tail interface for attaching compact buttstocks. So again, you have different compact buttstocks, foldable or collapsible buttstocks, uh, which you have both those options here in the game. Pistol uh, contour brace is also acceptable with this weapon, which we have that option here in the game. And then in February 2018, US SOCOM ordered the upper receiver for the MCX Rattlers and 300 Blackout. Um, and these were actually adopted by US SOCOM. So the MCX Rattler... 
was selected as the winner of SOCOM's CPDW, which is the Commercial Personal Defense Weapon Contract in May of 2022. The uh, suppressed MCX Rattler is, is now utilized in 300 Blackout and 556 by US SOCOM. So this is the smallest compact AR um, utilized by US SOCOM. Now again, a five and a half inch barrel, really, really cool weapon, very compact. This is, again, this is a PDW weapon with this barrel. Now in game, the barrel length is obviously a little bit longer than even seven inches as we saw compared to the Rattler and 5.56 where I was using that seven inch barrel. However, the dimensions in game for the barrel lengths and things like that are always off, but <clears throat> for the 300 blackout version, it would fire obviously 300 blackout, five and a half inch uh, barrel length with a 140 millimeter barrel length if you're using millimeters. Um, 30 round polymer mag, it's a mag type is AR-15, semi-auto or full auto based on law enforcement, military use, etc. Um, you also have folding buttstocks uh, made of carbon steel. And you also have the uh, foreign type is alloy. The grip type is polymer. The receiver finish is hard coat andronized. The overall length of the weapon for the Rattler in uh, 300 Black is going to be 23 and a half inches. That's 597 millimeters. The overall width is going to be 2.8 inches or 71 millimeters. The height is going to be 8 inches or 203 millimeters. And the threads are going to be uh five eighths inches and in, by 24 so the ex excuse me the accessory rail is going to be an m lock which we've seen here uh as opposed to key mod or picks you have pick on the on the 12 and the 6 however the accessory rails are key mod or excuse me m lock and the operating system is a gas piston direct impingement system the weight overall is 5.7 pounds for this weapon for the mcx rattler so a really really great weapon it is a lot of fun. However, I really just wish they, um, I really, really wish they brought that in the interlace suppressed barrel. But again, I'm going to try and link if I remember the Grand Thumb just did a video on the MCX Rattler. He's done some of the past and he did one with the integrally suppressed barrel, uh, which really isn't integrally suppressed. It's just a longer extended handguard over the suppressor. But again, that's what we had in Modern Warfare 2019. But he did a video on that last year. But the one I'll link if I remember, he just did one a two, two or three weeks ago. Uh, the intro is hilarious. Just watch it. He's, he's looking for the map festival, um, and he brought some Lululemon. Just really good timing with this weapon uh, coming to the game. So that was I got a great laugh out of that a couple weeks ago when I watched that. But uh, again, a little disappointed we have the English Suppressed Barrel. Let me know your thoughts down below. Social media links, all that are down below here for the channel. Now, we do also have the link down below for um, membership options. So memberships are live here on the channel. We have three different tiers on the channel that you can go ahead and pick from. Um, so go ahead and check those out. You have different perks for each. Now we will be getting, uh, for the top perk, when I do launch merchandise the end of this month, early September, you guys will get a little bit of a discount with one of those tiers. Um, and shout out to our members. We have Man Named Nobody, who's a Delta Operator tier. We have Aiden Flores as a Marine Raider. Justin is a Marine Raider. FPS Cannon Fodder is a Delta Operator. Noodley Boy is a Marine Raider. And CM is a Special Operations Forces. So those are our three tiers. Special Operations Forces, Marine Raider and Delta Operator. So we have six total members here on the channel. Again, check that out if you guys are interested. No pressure though. Best way to support the channel is to share the videos, like, subscribe, and uh, watch the ads. Number one way to support the videos in the channel here. So let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what your thoughts are um, on season five here of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, as well as the information for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I dropped a trailer weapon video yesterday. That video uh, great support. Good to see that thing blowing up. And we'll have gameplay here this coming Tuesday for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, this is Buffer and Gaming with the Six Sour MCX Rattler. Till next time, Buffer and Gaming, out. Got your ass. Loading the mag. Requesting recon flyover! Copy. Four minutes to hear you. Recon is online. Taking effective fire!
Standing by. Need recon overhead. Copy that. UAV is on station. Changing mag. 